Star, welcome back to my channel. <coughs> um, I burned out. I literally couldn't handle all the work that I had. And so for the past few weeks, I haven't um, shared that I've been taking um, a break. I have really bad asthma and it's the worst that it's ever been. And it started with um, allergies, which then activated my asthma. <coughs> and I've had to do my, it's so hard to talk, my nebulizer which is like a machine to, I've been doing it since I was a kid. And my inhaler, I have these little vaporizer sticks that's like fixed, that helps open up my airways. But I think it's a combination of stress um, because I have the podcast. In my last vlog, you guys saw that I've been working out four times a week. Like I would literally work out and then go straight, not showered, in my gym clothes straight to a meeting. And my meetings some days could be from 10 all the way to seven. And I would just sit there on Zoom meetings, talking, creating, playing with new products, samples, <sighs> hot. Um, but today is a very special day. We've had to push this shoot now, I think twice. I am shooting for my turn up the base butter silk concealer if you guys didn't know um i have a brand um it's called one size beauty it's literally changed my life like if you guys haven't seen this is my tyra banks my fucking nails ugly i did a collab with tyra she's literally my best friend in my head and um mm, i just posted that recently <coughs> I used the butter silk concealer on her. It was a fabulous dream come true. So in the future, you guys are gonna know where I'm at mentally. And this is not the ideal vlogging situation that I want to present myself as on my YouTube beauty channel, but I wanna encourage everybody to take care of themselves because social media, there's like a pressure and a competition with yourself to be better and to push. And I think I push myself too hard and also last month was Pride, so I was doing a lot of Pride events. I was doing a lot of work. Um, I was working out, again, the podcast, everything, and I think push came to shove and it exacerbated my asthma. But um, I love you guys so much. There's been so much love um, on the tire video that I was like, you know what, I'm gonna vlog today as much as I can. It's gonna be a fabulous day we're spending a lot of money we have a lot of amazing people today and i want to be able to look back at my life here on youtube and really appreciate and reflect on the hard work that i've put into my brand because a lot of people have asked me like do you ever get to stop and smell the roses i can't fucking um breathe so um, when I look at my old vlogs, I'm like, wow, I've lived an amazing influencer life and hopefully my journey is, is able to inspire you. And if you guys didn't see that Tyra video in the beginning, she said, can you believe that you're living a dream? <coughs> I'm living my dream. And I hope that this, these videos of mine help demystify what living a dream is like. It's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of pressure a lot of money a lot of just a lot of energy and time but along the way to not lose yourself it's important to take care of yourself so today i'm getting an iv drip we're shooting the concealer the commercial i'm going to be a cyborg robot i'm treating myself to mcdonald's today let me show you what i ordered <clears throat> if you guys can clock it in the back that's desi's pr package desi's can i think it's beautiful I have a large iced caramel coffee, and I'm obsessed with the sausage, sausage burritos, breakfast burritos from McDonald's and the hash brown. So, enjoy it, love me, hate me, but I'm gonna say thank you. Um, I'm gonna eat really quick, and then I'm gonna go get an IV in the studio, so. Oh, 
Do you want it so that actually I think it's this goes in a bit more? This is the worst my husband has been, and I don't want it to be a pity party or anything, but this is such a big day for me. The meaning behind the shoe and everything is so meaningful to me that I just want to document this day so I can look back on my first ever consumer launch and know what the fuck I went through to get here. I'm Fabian, I'm executive producer for Everything Patrick Star. What we're doing now, we're just unpacking to make sure we have all of his outfits here, all the details. We have padding over here. We have a wonderful um, assistant over here named Emily. She's helping us. She's also a stylist too, but she's helping us today with everything. So this morning, right before the shoot, we got the final outfit. We made adjustments because, you know, Patrick's a little bit plus size, so not everything fits. So we just added this spandex here. You see it go ahead and uh, fits that thick arm that he has. Shout out to Joshua Ponte. Look at this. This is fashion, mama. This is the future. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, sometimes I put it on myself because it looks good on me. Hey, guys. It's me, Ronnie. I am Patrick's makeup artist for our buttery, creamy, silk, thickening concealer today that is coming out. I'm rocking it right now. They gave me a cute little setup today. Uh, I'm getting everything together. I'm pulling everything out of Patrick's kit over here, but you know, just the usual, another day in the office. I'm glad to be here and uh, let's hit it, people. Hi, I'm Carla, I'm Patrick's stylist, and we've been working together for years. We met on Got the Glam, and face forward. face forward it was before yeah. then when we were years ago yet we mm. haven't aged a day mm. and we're happy to be here we're happy from the be before mac collabs to now and still growing so look out for the new stuff hi i'm andy valentine wow. i am the video director today um i am here to bring patrick's vision to life <laughs> on screen um for his new product Patrick is involved in every aspect of production, so I am coming right now to have him approve one of our product shots to see if he likes it, and then this will be in the edit of the video. The studio looks very familiar, but we're making it very one size and our own thing. It's so cool. Like this was in my imagination. This is so freaking sick. So this is our inspo image, and this is kind of like we'll all be standing right here. There's the one size team. There's the AV crew. There's Andrew. There's more crew, there's um, equipment, 
There's talent and check-in. That's the one size team. That's Malaya and Inger. There's wardrobe and styling. How cool is this setup? You guys, they have like one light, two light, three light, four lights, five, six, seven, eight lights surrounded just to get the red spotlight. It's so, so cool. I'm so excited. It's lunchtime, Fabian. We're eating lunch. Patrick's about to eat his lunch. I think he got chicken and something, but we got vegan. How was the day so far, Fabian? So good. We got the first shot, which is Patrick with no makeup, mm -hmm. rebooting the system. Yeah, that was. I'm about to go ahead and see the transformation. <laughs> that the concealer the can go ahead and do for you too. <laughs> and for Peter, if you look real close, you could use some. I could use some. I actually put some earlier, but I wiped it off. <laughs> <laughs> We just did our first group shot. Ronnie killed it. Team killed it. Joshua Aponte, I love you. I'm so honored to be wearing one of your designs. And let's fuck it up and turn up the bass. I'm Coco Lane. We're just giving a whole Aisha Lacanda look, girl. It's, it's just nothing but good vibes oh, and energy nice. over here. Stamped by the Ari. The makeup by Ari, you girl. Fucking she is stupid. Hi guys, I am the lovely Lola. I walk face. I am face. This came about because mutual friend put me and Patrick Star in contact and he came to a ball with me and he My saw first the, ball. your first and only ball. Yes. And it was amazing. Um, I, I know that you were definitely shocked because yeah. you your eyes was like Yes. And then you know You've been doing ballroom for how many years? For oh, 17 years. About Two that. decades. Yes, almost, pretty much. And you're known for? Face, body, and realness. Perfect tens, you know, all the above. Ooh. And now I'm trying to get into the fashion category. <laughs> yes. Patrick's on vocal rest. Okay, he needs to not talk. No one talks to Patrick. So we're gonna go ahead and do the second C, which is the DJ C. And we have Carly here strapping him into this size two <laughs> bodysuit. <laughs> <laughs> what we did before this is we did all the before shots of the models to go ahead and show the before and afters. We went ahead and did group shots to go ahead and show diversity with our models and Patrick. We did the robot scene, so this way Patrick is rebooting the system of beauty. The first thing I noticed when Patrick was shooting in these little chanclas over here, we don't do flats up in here, so we went ahead and grabbed his shoes to make him very tall and we went ahead and started posing with these heels on. Look at right here, we're strapping these boots. We went ahead and grew another six inches. We love that. We're gonna go ahead and switch to the DJ scene because we're gonna go ahead and turn up the bass. All hands on deck. Here's a little secret, Patrick doesn't know this. We actually went overboard, we're paying an additional $3,000 because because we've already expanded. We went overtime, but that's just the nature of things. Fabian's fault. It's not my fault. <laughs> I can name them, but I'm not gonna name y'all. <laughs> I'm over here doing Patrick's uh, decolletage. 
and I just finished shaving all of this man hair down and I'm putting on some less more, which is our secret body makeup that we just love to use. We don't gotta shave the arms today because he's wearing a jacket, thank God. We're moving, we're grooving. We're on the last, we're, we're, we're on the last shot of the day. This is the last shot of the day. Last shot of the day. Okay, right now we're gonna also go ahead and do the turban. What we do to save time, because on sets we have no time, is we pre-make the turban. So they say he'll go ahead and tie it. I'll go ahead and tie it. <laughs> <laughs> we use this turban under everything because it's gonna go ahead and catch the sweat that's dripping out of his head. It's like a sauna. Honestly, this is not breathable material. We do not recommend it, but it looks so good in the light. Look at it. We, we care so much about camera. This is why we use this fabric here. Michael No made this. He's worked with Gaga, Lady Gaga, emphasize on Gaga, Ariana Grande, J-Lo. And Patrick Star. <laughs> Joshua Ponte made this first outfit for the cyborg outfit. Legendary for drag queens. He went ahead and made a curious outfit on RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars. Go ahead, put up the little picture. He made that outfit. He is iconic. And we've been wanting to work with him for the last two years, but this was the perfect outfit to work with him on. Is it Akira or Aquaria? Akira. Aquaria! <laughs> the one drag queen you know. <laughs> That's so oh. I lie, people. He also knows what I speak. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. boots are hand-me-downs from the go-off music video. <laughs> How we doing? Now we got the director in here trying to go ahead and rush us. No, I'm just coming Beauty to Beauty takes time! Yes, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. We're joking. <laughs> He's just checking up on us. I go, we just need another 45 minutes. That's it. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we've got the time. <laughs> What we're doing here is we're actually trying to hide all the, you see all this? We don't let the, the public know about this. And you know what? Even though <laughs> I'm not the stylist, I honestly he do everything. He is every the turban stylist. <laughs> I'd be doing the turban too. That okay. is all you. You hold it down with the turban. You pierce Patrick's head most of the time. Uh, but you know, I have story. stabbed Patrick a couple of times. A little secret, Patrick didn't have time to get his nails done because he had an asthma attack yesterday, had to go to urgent care. This is what's under there, girl. So you go ahead and cover it up with the previous outfit's gloves and we're good to go. No, but you have to show them that this is the- Oh, I this forgot. This oximeter. Sorry, they're, they're, they're teaching me all these YouTube things. We're gonna go ahead and have to check his oxygen. I don't know how to turn it on. No, you press it and then you wait. Peter's actually the real nurse. <laughs> so this is an oximeter. This is basically Let tells me the oxygen. <laughs> Let me get the real nurse uh, over so here. This is the false oximeter. It basically tells your oxygen, Ooh. your blood oxygen levels. So we put it on his finger. We let it rest, and then we see if it's okay. Right now it's at 93 over 115. Does that mean he's breathing? Normal range is around 90 to 100. So pretty good. Okay. Yeah. And we also have oxygen for him, so he could breathe. Not only oxygen, we also have his inhaler and his nebulizer. That's a nebulizer. If you guys didn't know, if you don't have asthma, this is what you use for your asthma. As you guys can see, Fabian's using some Sharpie to cover it up. Yeah. Red. It's all about the details. You also see that Patrick's not tall enough, so they put in a little apple box. And Patrick has his own monitor right there so he can see himself. There's the camera, and here's a bounce board. <laughs> That's a wrap. Fabian, Fabian, Fabian. It's a wrap. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. <laughs> he loves you guys. <laughs> he loves you. So he said, yeah, perfect. Love you. All right, gonna get out of this outfit.
And makeup is a one size fits all. Oh, guys, don't forget, makeup is a one size fits all. And oh, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. Um, what else, Ronnie? Peter, turn off the fucking camera. Oh, okay, we're gonna go <laughs> clean up. All right, bye. Texture, pores, pores, hyperpigmentation, discoloration have been detected. One size fits analysis complete. It's time to remix the beat and turn up the bass. Turn up the bass. One size.